Greetings wonderful people, my name is Saban, and it seems to me that recently people have been very interested in finding out, how much money does an indie game developer make? I myself watched a couple of videos on this topic and I decided to share the view from my perspective, from the bottom so to speak. I will be talking about Neri and not about Grayson because Neri was commercialized in more than one way, so it should be more interesting to hear about this game. Also, I want to show you that if you want to make indie games just to get rich fast, and you think that it is something very easy to achieve, maybe this craft isn't really what you are looking for. Without further ado, here's the first way I made money with Neri. Bundles. My memory is fuzzy, so I used a website called istthereanydeal.com to see which bundles Neri participated in. To my surprise, there are three of them. Build a Greenlight Grow Peace Bundle is actually what made it possible for Nero to even occur on Steam in the first place, because this game was in development back in the days when you had to attract all of your own traffic or do whatever shenanigans you can to get your game greenlit, thus allowing it to be released on Steam. And that was an impossible challenge for me. Out of the three bundles Nero participated in, this website is also the only one still available, so let's take a close look at it. 2644 sales with a price of $1 per 10 games. Mind you, these games were not even finished and or released on Steam at that point. Judging by the number of sold units and the sheer amount of games in this bundle, you can tell that the number isn't really high. I of course don't remember the policies of any of those websites, so I'll just tell you that combined with Indie Gala and Daily Indie Game Bundle, I earned $570. Yes, from all three bundles together. This way, I sold a huge amount of units of Nary outside of Steam, thus losing potential clients or people who would buy the game at full price and who would be genuinely interested in playing the game instead of having an extra icon in their Steam library. However, as I've stated before, I knew nothing about marketing, I knew nothing about promotion, so without the Grow Peace bundle, my game would never even be on Steam in the first place. And being on Steam back then was a huge achievement and it was very important because releasing a game on this platform meant a certain amount of guaranteed sales, which is very different from today's situation. And I was just a 17 year old guy with the dream of getting my game to Steam shelves. I even made a group in one social media dedicated to track my progress of getting to Steam. By the way, did you ever wonder why my Twitter is called Kudos Team, even though I hadn't released any games on Steam prior to making this account? With the money I earned from these bundles, I bought myself a brand new Wacom drawing tablet that I currently use every single day. I was extremely happy to have finally made some cash with my creations, and apart from the fuzzy bad memories about this period of time in my life, I feel very good about having released Nary. And here's the second way I earned money with Nary. Steam itself. Here's the moment of truth you've probably all been waiting for. Nary sold 752 units on Steam, earning me nearly $700. At the same time, 8200 units were activated, most of which are Steam keys sold in game bundles. Nary took me around 2 years to make. Of course I wasn't working on it every single day, and I was studying hard, and generally I was very busy at the time but it's up to you to consider how commercially successful it turned out in the end. In total, I made around $1,500 in cash with Nary's help. Since our world has people like Rami Ismail who teach people to think about more ways to commercialize their games, here's one additional way I made Nary commercially useful. I used some of the Steam keys to promote Grizzland on Greenlight. I made a small giveaway in some social media group, name of which I don't even remember, but it had extremely good results, and that's why Grizzland is out on Steam now. If you found this video to be useful, helpful, entertaining, I don't know, just please consider subscribing to this channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Farewell.